Hey everyone, me again. Um, I'll introduce myself. I know you probably already know me. I'm kind of a big thing out here in the art world, but um, I'm Tony. Uh, my channel Second Birth. That's my art alias name that I use as well. I like to uh, sign the paintings with, and um, I just come on today to sort of share where I am with things. Really, like I've been working on my portfolio for this Milan Art Mastery Program, so that's sort of coming along nicely. <clears throat> I've actually got that one finished now, so I'm happy with that. Um, I hope you can hear me a bit better today. I turned the sa recording sound up a little bit on my laptop, so hopefully that is recording a bit better. Hopefully you can't, but I hope it's not picking up the fan I've got there. Yeah, it's just too hot to turn that thing off today. It's like an oven in there. But which is good for drying the paint, though. It's making the paint dry nice and quick. But, um, yeah, I've got that one finished now. Um, I get it. Um, it's drying pretty quick. It's sort of dry to the touch already. I mean, it worked on it yesterday, but um, yeah. So that's what this one's looking like. I've got it. So it's got these like faint stars in the background. With um, I went over the top in like an orangey colour, and I tried to have it like really dark and contrasty, and I used like. Um, charcoal in the background because I really like using charcoal so I gave it a go on this one and it worked out pretty good I thought tried to make everything nice, nice and drippy and I used the um, water soluble graphite as well and I tried to make everything look nice and drippy uh, to give a bit of sort of texture to things and uh, the only thing is with, with the charcoal I find it can kind of smudge a little bit when you go over the top of it when you're trying to, I tried to put like a glaze layer over the top to seal it. Like I did two layers of normal fixative, um, but even that it was smudging a little bit. So I think, um, which is okay for this one, because I wanted that kind of effect. So I exaggerated it a bit, if anything, tried to pull it down, make it look like it's smudging a bit more. But um, I think on future ones, I think you can use like Rust-Oleum 2X, I think it's called, like a, a varnish thing. So I might try that in future, maybe. Don't know if anyone else has got suggestions. Um, or maybe I will just use it on pieces that I want to look a bit more like drippy and stuff um, and so I can do that effect but um, I think I'll do that again because I do enjoy using the charcoal and I like the look the way that it sort of looked like all contrasted with like the black against the orange and yellow and I've been debating whether to do more on that one I was looking at it and it just the back seemed a bit light to me so I just today I just thought uh, I'll go with it. I'll just I'll, I'll, I like the way that one looked, and it'll kind of tie things together a bit as well. So I, I went and did uh, darkened up the the back on there. Went over with some more glazes and a little bit more refinement. Um, I still need to go over again. It still needs some more refinement, some highlights on the hair, and um, but I'm I'm happier with the way that looks now. It's kind of tied together a bit more. Just needs a bit more refinement. Um, I don't want to rush things too much. I want to make sure I'm happy with stuff. Just these first ones might take a little longer while I'm just getting things right and then that one's more or less there. I think it just feels a little bit flat. I need to just work on it a little bit more. Um, just build it up a bit more. Um, but I'm happy with it. I like I like the design and stuff. I just need to work on it a bit more. And um, that one on the end, um, that one's pretty much there. Again, I just need to do a little bit more refinement like I do on that one. And what I've done in the meantime as well is I've got ordered these, <clears throat> like uh, it's like wooden panels with like a wooden veneer. I think it's like an MDF type thing, but it's got like a wooden veneer on it, like a solid, like it's like a proper wood veneer. So I'm, I'm, I think it will um, it'll look nice if I go over with like a clear sealant. I, I was going to use um, acrylic gloss medium and go over with like so it's got a clear coating on it and it's sealed. So. Because that's the thing with wooden panels, I think you can kind of um, over. Like I, I, I think when the temperatures change and there's more moisture in the air and stuff, like it can sort of absorb moisture and it sort of exact expands and contracts and stuff with it being wood. Um, like like everything does, like it, like the doors in the house do and stuff, where they can kind of expand and contract depending on the temperature. And, but I think if you seal it, it'll sort of stop moisture getting in and that they'll last uh, the test of time. Then so I figured these are eight by eight panels, eight inch by eight inch. I'll do that. I want to do it so that I go over with like a design and have like this some of this wooden um, texture showing through. So I might make a start on 
one of those today. <clears throat> Let's see how it goes. Sorry. Some new coffee today. Oh, nice. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll do one of them and see how it goes. And then if I'm happy with it, I'll, um, I'll do some more. I've got ten of them in total. So maybe I'll be able to get like five of those done um, during this week, I hope. Um, see how that goes. But... Um, Look, so I just want it to be like a simplified, stripped-down version. So, like, say I'm waiting for these to dry and they've got oils and stuff on them and they take a while to dry. I just wanted to make something that I can be working on in the background um, that's quicker to make. Um, I was thinking I won't go over with oils. Maybe I'll use, like, acrylics and spray paint. And so it's kind of my style. I've got the same kind of look to it and everything, but I just don't have an oil layer over the top that I have to wait for to dry and stuff. I can just make them. They dry quickly and um, I can get them get them out there then and it can be some something I can just keep producing and maybe I can even try out new ideas on them and stuff so it might be good that way people can get the new ideas as I'm coming up with them uh, on the smaller pieces and then they're um, they small and flat so like with these ones I'd have to package them <coughs> I'd have to package them up in like boxes and stuff and then it's, it's you, you sort of it's more for posters, you've got paper parcels to post and stuff. I was thinking with these ones, I could just get them in a, I check the sizes and I, I can fit these in um, a large letter size, if you like the Royal Mail, something like that. Uh, maybe just have like a bit of cardboard either side and just protect it with some plastic so that the, um, like a acid free plastic, glassine paper or something, I think people use that glassine paper, um, just to protect the paint and then I can get those out in the post like um, and they should be pretty robust like it's a piece of wood it's not gonna like canvas be able to get punctured and things where you have to package it really carefully so then I can pa pass that saving on and um, I can have stuff up on my store that's kind of more um, quick turnaround stuff that's a, um, that's kind of um, accessible to a lot of people then. and um, I think that would be good uh, so that's kind of the plan for the week really I just wanted to come on and update people because um, cause like I said before I've got a lot of things on at the go at the same time it's difficult to make videos for it because I'm not like doing one project piecing it together, showing a video then I'm sort of doing all sorts of different things at the same time so I think it's easier at the moment to do these update videos and just explain what I'm, what I'm doing and what I'm up to um, but yeah I'm pretty um, pretty pleased with it. I think it all feels like it's starting to come together a bit now and like I say that what's going on doing <laughs> that one would be um, I'm happy with that now that's finished I did some tweaking on it this morning to finish it up some refinement I'm really happy with it now so I think I'll get that one photographed then I can get that up on the on the store as prints initially and then I'll just have to wait for it to dry for maybe like just give it like a month to properly dry and then I'll, um, uh, well, I'll take photos of it, get it up there as prints. Then I'll sign it, and then because I'll have to wait for the signature to dry as well. Wait for the signature to dry and that to dry for a month, and then I'll go over with a layer of varnish. Um, and then the varnish doesn't take long to dry. I think it's only like a few days. I'll double check that. I think it's a few days before it dries, and then that original. So that that'll be that'll end up being the first original up there, and then these other ones I'll just refine them to make sure I'm happy, and then they'll be following shortly after. Um, and then the ball will get rolling. <laughs> um, like I said, that's the plan. I'm sort of doing it with the prints and things, and then these ones as well. Like if if it's acrylics, they'll. Um, dry pretty quickly, so I can start getting those ones as a ri small originals up on the s on the store. So keep an eye out for those. Um, and I've done it on there, like I mentioned before. So it's like anyone, if you sign up on the mailing list, you can get the ten percent off um, off your first order as well. So that should be good once I start getting those up there. Keep an eye out for them. Um, I think that's about it really. Um, 
you know, starting to get through my paint pretty quick. Now that one, this little, I think it was Va uh, Van Dyke Brown was using on the back, and it was <laughs> got getting through the tube of that really quickly. And some some other colours I'm starting to use quite a lot of. So I think that'll happen as well as I progress. I'll start finding the colours that I like more, and um, like I say, it's a lot of these oranges and uh, reds and. Um, maybe I'll start getting more varieties of oranges and reds if I can, so I've got a bit more variety within that, and um, some more like transparents and um, yeah, I think that's um, a bit of sort of one step at a time, really. Um, Like I said, I'm sort of I'm sort of in the background as well, coming up with like ideas for new stuff. Like for these panels, I've been trying to think what I could do with them, um, what I'd like to show. I've got some ideas. I've come up with some ideas in Photoshop, but um, that's how, see how this this first one comes out. Uh, I'll show it on here once it's done, and um, that's about it. I guess I'll leave it there. I won't babble on for too long on this one, like I always end up doing. Um, yeah, until next time, onwards.